You take a lemon, stick a piece of copper in one side, a piece of zinc in the other, and bam, you've got a very tiny battery. It works because the lemon juice is acidic, and that acid helps create a chemical reaction between the zinc and copper. Electrons flow from the zinc to the copper, creating a small electric current. But here's the catch, each lemon produces about, drum roll please, 1 volt. 1. Uno. A single volt. But voltage alone isn't what powers your house. You also need current, amperage. And in that department, our lemony friend is tragically weak. A single lemon can produce around 0.001 amps. That's 1 milliamp. You'd need 1,000 lemons just to get 1 amp at 1 volt, and that's still not even close to powering a light bulb. So how many lemons would you need to power your house? Let's say the average house uses about 30 kilowatt hours of electricity per day. That's 30,000 watt hours. If one lemon gives you roughly 0.001 watts, and it only lasts for a couple hours before the reaction slows down, you'd need literally millions, yes, millions, of lemons to keep the lights on for a day. At that point, your house would no longer be a house. It would be a lemon farm with electrical wiring. And let's not forget, you're not just powering lights. You've got fridges, microwaves, TVs, laptops, and let's be honest, probably a few devices you haven't used in months but refuse to unplug. Each of those needs way more power than your average lemon army can provide. Also, lemons don't magically regenerate their electricity. Once the zinc gets used up or the acid breaks down, that lemon battery is done. Game over. You'd have to replace the electrodes or the lemons, or both. That's a lot of produce. Now, people sometimes hear fruit battery and think, oh, fruits have energy. Which is technically true. But it's chemical energy, not electrical. And the lemon juice isn't the fuel, it's just the medium.